Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I know this is a little bit late, but here's my video vlog from the other night's episode uh, of Felice and I uh, fighting in the Ultimate Fighter. And it's kind of funny because I'm sitting here in West Hollywood about a block away from where I decided I was going to actually become a professional fighter. It was um, a week from now, but six years ago. And uh, it just kind of is crazy because, you know, here I am six years later and I'm talking about my fight on the Ultimate Fighter. So, you know, if you work hard and you dedicate yourself, you never know what dreams may uh, come true. And uh, I think I'm a pretty good example of one of those uh, those stories that dreams do come true. So sometimes you just gotta believe to believe. So let me get to the questions uh, from my fans. Uh, Andrew asked me, uh, what soul searching made me apologize and bury the hatchet with Felice? And you know, I was reading a book called The Untethered Soul. And my, my dad had uh, bought it for me like kind of months before the show and I had been reading it and I actually got to bring it to the show and read it some more and I think it saved my life actually on the show. Uh, but it just talked about how you know unconditional happiness starts with yourself and it's really about focusing on who you are as a person and, and what you want to do, not regardless of what other people are doing and, and how they live their lives. And I just started to realize that you know it's not it's not my my job to judge anybody, and um, pretty much, you know, that's that's the basis. There, there's a lot more to it, but that's the reason, uh, mainly, that I, I felt like I needed to apologize. Um, the next question was from Harley, and it says, uh, "Do I believe that the girls on Tough uh, point out my worst because they can't handle my best?" And I would say yes. Um, I think that they're very intimidated, uh, and I don't want to say they, uh, you know, Angela. Beck, um, even Emily, uh, they just, they're intimidated by my confidence in myself and, and the person that I am, and I really think that they felt like they needed to um, pull me down so that they could, you know, feel better about themselves, and that's just bully mentality, you know, plain and simple. Um, DJ, do I think that if I had more support from my team that I would have been more successful in my fight? Yeah, I think I would have uh, definitely felt a little bit better going in, you know, having that support. You know, my team ex at Extreme, their support um, helps motivate me every day. The things that Misha has been doing for me to help stand up for me, um, you know, it, it makes me stronger. It makes me motivate myself to uh, to be a better fighter. So, and yes, I will blend a photo for you if you send it to me. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, in terms of my fight, obviously my knee prevented me from doing everything that I normally do in a fight. I usually kick more. I usually, you know, uh, go for takedowns myself. As you see, I wasn't able to do that. If you look back at, like, my last fight before police, which was against Hannah Cypress, you kind of get an idea of what my striking was like, um, or is like, and then uh, definitely tune in to December 12th on the finale because the hurricane is brewing and I'm coming, and uh, I'm going to have the best performance of my life, so don't miss it.